Veľmi pekne. A ďalší vystúpi za výbor pre rozpočet, pán Jose Manuel Fernández. Prosím, máte slovo. Muito obrigado, senhor presidente, caro comissário, caras e caros colegas. Nós temos de atingir os objetivos climáticos com gradualismo, firmeza e os recursos financeiros suficientes para assegurarmos a inclusão, a coesão territorial, económica e social de todos os territórios. E aqui faço um ênfase particular às regiões ultraperiféricas, no caso de Portugal, Açores e Madeira, que face às suas desvantagens naturais têm de ter o tratamento justo para que não sejam excluídas, para que estejam dentro do objetivo da coesão territorial. Os Estados-membros têm de contribuir e fazer a sua parte com os planos nacionais. E aqui, Sr. Comissário, é urgente a articulação de fundos. É urgente a articulação do PRR e dos PRRs com os acordos de parceria e também com os fundos, como o Fundo Social Climático, até porque este objetivo é transversal, onde programas europeus como o Horizonte Europa, o Mecanismo Interligar Europa, devem também eles confluir para este objetivo. Um objetivo onde a política industrial, a investigação, o conhecimento, a educação, a formação profissional devem estar presentes, até porque neste momento não temos as empresas necessárias e suficientes para este objetivo. Termino com um pedido. O Fundo Social Climático tem de fazer parte, tem de integrar o próximo quadro financeiro plurianual. Mas não pode ser para reduzir o quadro financeiro plurianual. Tem de ser e deverá ser para estar integrado e, consequentemente, com os montantes suficientes para essa integração, ou seja, aumentando-se os limites do quadro financeiro plurianual. Muito obrigado. Ďakujem veľmi pekne. Ďalšia vystúpi za výbor pre rozpočet pani Valéry a je. Prosím, máte slovo. Ďakujem mais une dette qui reposerait sur les épaules des grands pollueurs, des importateurs de CO2 étrangers et de tous ceux qui ne paient pas leur juste part d'impôt. Or, je constate que les États tergiversent, encore et toujours. Il est urgent que les recettes de la taxe carbone aux frontières et du marché carbone soient affectées au budget européen. Nous avons un plan de relance à rembourser. Et les ressources propres, eh bien, elles sont la clé. Il n'y a plus aucune excuse. Les chiffres sont disponibles, les textes vont être votés, il en va de la crédibilité et de la responsabilité des États de trouver le plus rapidement possible un accord. Je vous remercie. Merci beaucoup. Et maintenant, je vais vous présenter le budget de la Commission Marguerite Marques. Merci, Mme Marques. Merci, Mme Marques. Merci, Mme Marques. Merci, Mme Marques. La création du Fonds social pour le climat, le établissement du CIBAM et l'expansion du ETS são três medidas-chave para uma transição climática eficaz, sustentável e socialmente justa e inclusiva. Não poderíamos aprovar um plano ambicioso como o Feed for 55 sem um fundo social para o clima. Não podem ser os mais vulneráveis a pagar a transição climática. O CIBAM assegurará regras de concorrência justas para o mercado europeu do carbono. Aceitamos o compromisso de que receita do ETS vá a título excepcional e transitório para um fundo fora do orçamento da União Europeia. Fragiliza o papel do Parlamento Europeu como autoridade orçamental, mas foi o compromisso possível com o Conselho. Finalmente, convém lembrar que o ETS e o CIBAMA devem constituir recursos próprios para o orçamento da União Europeia, tal como nos comprometemos no acordo interinstitucional, estes recursos são fundamentais para garantir o reembolso do Next Generation EU. Muito obrigada. Obrigado muito bem pequeno e a vibrar para a premissa ou terás visto o pipa na Uri Pekarinen. Próximo a ti, Slava. Kiitoksia puheenjohtaja. Uusi ETS on EUn tärkein väline päästöjen vähentämisessä 
ja ilmastotoimissa yleensä. Toimin teollisuusvaliokunnan neuvottelijana, siksi vain siitä muutama huomio tässä yhteydessä. Uudistus kaksinkertaistaa nykyisen ETSn päästöjen vähentämisvauhdin, siis vuodesta 2005 tähän vuoteen 30 mennessä miinus 62 prosenttia. Se palkitsee puhtaita ratkaisuja, se kertoo selvän viestin teollisuudelle ja energiasektorille, ei kannata investoida vanhaan päästölliseen teknologiaan. Siipamin toimivan hiilirajaveron käyttöön ottaminen teräksen, alumiinin, sementin, lannoitteiden ja sähkön tuonnille on perusteltu toimi. Siitä seuraa näiden alojen päästöjen on poistuminen sisämarkkinoilla samaa vauhtia, kun Siipam nousee ylös. Sekin on ihan oikein. ITRE ja sittemmin parlamentti esittivät huolensa Siipam-alujen viennistä, eli kolmansiin maihin menevän viennin ilmaissa on tarpeellisuudesta noilla Siipam-aloilla. Trilogitulos huomioi Siipam-alojen tarpeet, mutta ei mielestäni riittävän hyvä, hyvä, hyvin ja vahvasti. Siksi hiilivuotoriskiä on mielestäni tarkasteltava jo ennen lain voimaantuloa ja sen toimeenpanon aikana. Ďakujem veľmi pekne. Ďalšia vystúpi za výbor pre priemysel pani Izabela Helena Kloc. Prosím, máte slovo. Šanovní państwo, podstavovým celem SIBAM miało byť povstrzymanie tzv. ucieczki emisji. Tak przyjęło się nazywać przeprowadzkę firm z Unii Europejskiej do krajów trzecich z powodu restrykcyjnych wymagań środowiskowych związanych głównie z ceną emisji CO2. Niestety prace legislacyjne w Parlamencie Europejskim jak zwykle zamieniły ten mechanizm w broń klimatyczną. SIBAM zamiast regulatorem gospodarki, a tak miało być pierwotnie, stał się kolejnym narzędziem służącym do karania przemysłu za produkcję. I jako sprawozdawca Komisji ITRE podkreślałam potrzebę utrzymania przez dłuższy czas bezpłatnych uprawnień ETS. SIBAM jest nowym instrumentem i wiadomo, że jego szybkie wdrożenie spowoduje wiele problemów dla europejskiego przemysłu. Skrajne żądania szybkiego wycofania bezpłatnych uprawnień do emisji w ostatecznym tekście parlamentu zostały złagodzone nieco w rozmowach trójstronnych. Mimo to tekst jest nadal bardzo nierealistyczny. Obawiam się wyższych kosztów dla przedsiębiorstw z sektora obie tym mechanizmem koszty te ostatecznie zapłacą konsumenci. Ponadto SIBAM może nieproporcjonalnie wpłynąć na mniejsze firmy i działające w mniej rozwiniętych gospodarczo regionach, potencjalnie prowadząc do utraty miejsc pracy i trudności gospodarczych. Jeśli my nie zadbamy o europejski przemysł, SIBAM też go nie ochroni i pozostanie, tego się obawiam, naiwnym narzędziem o wątpliwej skuteczności. Dziękuję. Ďakujem veľmi pekne a teraz vystúpi za Európsku komisiu pán komisár Paolo Gentiloni. Prosím, máte slovo. Prezident, honorable members, this house is addressing the defining challenge of this century, of our generations and also of this commission's mandate. The agreements discussed today together with the rest of the Fit for 55 package, will fully deliver on the climate law commitments and put the EU on track to become the first climate neutral continent by 2050. They form an ambitious and coherent package, which will also give us the means to ensure a socially fair transition and make sure that no one will be left behind. A reinforced emission trade system extended to the maritime sector, will strengthen our domestic carbon pricing policy, helping us driving investments into decarbonization, including for aviation. The separate ATS covering buildings and road transport will allow reducing emissions in high emitting sectors. The revenues from this separate ETS will fund the Social Climate Fund which will help member states addressing the social impact of the transition. The carbon border adjustment mechanism by putting a fair price of carbon on imported products will prevent that the EU increased ambition is undermined 
by carbon intensive goods produced outside the EU and incentivize our international partners to implement decarbonization policies. I would like to thank the rapporteurs, Lise, Chaim, Delange, Casa, and Glavak for making these arrangements possible. And let me stress some key aspects of each arrangement. Emission trading is the centerpiece of European climate policy. We put a price on carbon. It will now be strengthened to reduce emissions by 62% by 2030, compared with 2005. Extended to maritime transport and the size and scope of its innovation and modernization funds will be increased. As part of the compromise, the Commission agrees in a statement to implement a number of measures to further enhance the integrity and transparency of the European carbon market. And there is another key point of the European way of tackling climate change. We all know that while the poorest and most vulnerable people contribute the least to the crisis, they bear the brunt of climate change impacts. We have the responsibility of preventing the most vulnerable to be disproportionately impacted. This is why with the review ETS, member states will spend the entirety of their ETS revenues on climate projects and to address social aspects of the transition. And the Commission has provided an explanatory statement on this. The EU carbon border adjustment mechanism will be our landmark tool to put a fair price equal to the price paid by EU producers on the carbon emitted during the production of carbon intensive goods that are entering in the EU. The EU is the first jurisdiction in the world to put in place such a breakthrough climate measure at its borders. It is already having a positive impact globally as a growing number of jurisdictions are considering put a price on carbon. There must be no ambiguities CBAM is a WTO compliant climate instrument to support our increased green ambition in an efficient way. This product scope may be further extended in the future based on a thorough analysis as part of a report that the Commission will prepare in 2025. We will continue to work with the industry and our international partners for a gradual and smooth implementation of CBAM. On ETS aviation, the agreement brings major advantages, including financial support for airlines using sustainable aviation fuels, a monitoring, reporting, and verification system for non-CO2 emissions, and more transparency of emissions data for international flights. The agreement is also historic for the shipping sector which will be included under ETS by 2024. A new separate emission trading system covering road transport and buildings will start from 27. It could contribute to 45% of the additional emission reductions compared to current policy in 2030. There will be a smooth and gradual start with safeguards for households in case prices exceed certain thresholds or if market liquidity, liquidity is too low. For example, we will increase even further the predictability of the price development in cases that the average carbon price over a period of two consecutive months should exceed a level of 45 euros. We are confident that this and other safeguards such as the initial injection of additional volumes into the market or the automatic triggers from the market stability reserve are relevant mechanisms to protect citizens while reducing fossil fuels allowances. And of course, another key element is the social climate fund. It will address the social impact of the transition on vulnerable households, transport users, and micro enterprises, in particular citizens in energy or transport poverty. It will mobilize 
86.7 billion euros between 26 and 32. The Commission is making three statements on the Social Climate Fund. One, concern the deletion of the mandatory use of a single data mining tool. Another one relates to the possibility to designate more than one authority to sign the management declaration. Last, there is a link between the Social Climate Fund and the Energy Efficiency Directive with regard to definition of energy poverty. President, honorable members, if you support these proposals, our union will again be proudly in the lead. In the lead for the protection of our planet, of the future of new generations, and of the most vulnerable people to climate change. So thank you, and I look forward for this debate. Thank you.